Connor Victoria exists to inspire kids and to spark their natural curiosity about the world around them. So when they come to our centre, we want them tinkering and hacking and breaking things and putting things back together and finding out how things work so that they're not just consumers of technology, but understand technology from inside out. Quantum Victoria was established by the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development as a centre that has the capacity to support teaching and learning of science and mathematics in schools. So our role primarily is to enhance what's occurring within the classroom and give students and teachers an opportunity to access cutting edge facilities through the programs that we deliver. The team at Quantum is quite diverse. There are three teachers and there are seven education support staff. We have game developers, IT systems engineers, physics and maths and chemistry teachers. We have a marine biologist and we all enhance the programs because of our diversity. So when we talk about a vision at Quantum, I suppose it might be different if you spoke to any team member. You would see it through their lens. A passion of ours is ensuring that all students achieve success in the areas of science and mathematics and we truly believe that this is possible if they see relevance to what they're learning. By showing them relevance, that natural curiosity comes out and they're intrinsically motivated to be independent in their own learning. The F1 project is an engineering based program that allows us to get access to knowledge based on marketing, engineering, aerodynamics and science and mathematics. Last year, we as Team Spectra competed in Abu Dhabi at the 2012 F1 in Schools World Finals. Today we've come to Quantum with our fellow students to assist them in their knowledge and development throughout their F1 journey. We will be able to use the data and our knowledge that we've collected here at Quantum today to go back to Kyabram and refine our designs. We will also use the uh, knowledge we've gained around rapid prototyping and CNC milling to improve our vehicle designs and improve the overall speed of our car. The F1 in Schools program has allowed me to develop a love of engineering and aerodynamics and I'm now considering a possible career in this field. It's not about us teaching the students, it's more about us facilitating the students doing what they want to do. We support them with the 3D modelling, with routing their cars, with printing, with designing. The students are that motivated, we really are just here to assist when they get stuck. We've been able to take 3D printing and bring it to a level where it's accessible to both students and teachers. From building printers to using printers, we've created a full syllabus. Well, we're showing them the next serious manufacturing process, I believe, is going to be uh, out there. We're getting them to understand how 3D printing works. We're showing them with the uh, glue gun technique, where we start them off with a hot glue gun, get them to make a cube. They learn all about how the printer's laying down layers, and then we get them to design some simple, simple objects which we print for them and send off to their schools. Game-based learning is one way in which we can attract students and get them to study concepts in depth without actually thinking that they are. One of our programs, the Physics of Angry Birds, the students study projectile motion and then through the game the maths and the physics comes to life. There are many layers to each of our programs and that comes out with a different cohort of students and how they connect and relate um, to what it is that we're trying to teach them. Uh, or not, it's not really teach, it's how we're sharing the teaching and learning space with them. They contribute and probably bring a, a different focus or bring the program to life in a different way than it was initially intended. So when teachers bring their students uh, to our centre, we try and have them participate in the program. This is a great form of professional development because as teachers, often we forget that we're learners, first and foremost. And uh, by participating in the program and experiencing something new, they get a chance to remember what it's like to struggle with a particular problem and work through it towards a solution. Coming into our space, if I had advice for a teacher uh, who wanted to shift their practice, the three things that come to mind are relinquishing control, becoming a learner again, and giving students choice. And if you hit all those three things, um, you're going to see change. <laughs>